And he asked him, Teacher, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when these things are about to take place? And he said, See that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time is at hand. Do not go after them. And when you hear of wars and rumours of wars, do not be terrified. For these things must take place first, but the end will not be at once. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places famines and pestilences, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they will be, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. This will be your opportunity to bear witness. Settle it therefore in your minds, not to meditate beforehand how to answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and relatives and friends and some of them will put you to death. You will be hated. They will put you to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake. But not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance you will gain your lives. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then let those who not be judged, sorry, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains and let those who are inside the city depart and let not those who are out in the country enter it. For these are days of vengeance to fulfill all that is written. Alas, for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days. For there will be great distress upon the earth and wrath against his people. This people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive among all nations and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles keeping our eye on Jerusalem, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars, and on the earth distress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the earth. For the powers of heavens will be shaken, the power for the power of the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with great power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near.